everyone and welcome to the second episode of Aviation Daily. Uh, if you haven't watched uh, yesterday's show, please do watch. I highly recommend it. And if you don't know what Aviation Daily is, it's essentially a new program that we are starting here to basically um, give a new a daily update with all the news from the aviation industry. So if you didn't watch yesterday's episode, uh, there are a lot of news yesterday. Unfortunately, today there aren't a lot of news, but hopefully there will be more uh, updates tomorrow. Anyway, let's get straight into today's video. Uh, first of all, we have Lot Airlines from Poland. Uh, Lot has announced flights from Warsaw to London City. These flights will commence in early January next year. The flight will be operated twice daily and Lot will use its uh, Embraer 1E E190 for this route. Now this route will, help, will help Lot build further connections on toward, towards the west. Uh, Lot says that they are opening a new chapter by putting two daily flights to London City. This is what uh, Lot's um, director of corporate communications said. This route will bring uh, several thousands of more passengers to London City Airport, which is a small airport uh, in London. Also, uh, Fly Dubai has started flights between Dubai and Thessaloniki in Greece with uh, its Boeing 737. And we have a diversion, actually an emergency. Uh, United Airlines flight UA14 from Newark to London declared an emergency. And what is very curious about this emergency is that the aircraft declared emergency uh, on finals to Heathrow. So... Anyway, the flight, uh, the aircraft landed and nothing too bad happened. And we have a photo from the first Gulf Air 77 Dreamliner in London Heathrow. It is a stunning aircraft, definitely one of my favorite Boeing 787s. Um, as we've mentioned on yesterday's episode, Gulf Air now flies to London with the Boeing 787. And another diversion, EasyJet flight U21038 from Split to Basel on Switzerland, diverted to Venice. The reason for this uh, diver diversion is still unknown. Also another diversion in Europe, a Tailwind Airlines flight TI-464 from Brussels to Antalya in Turkey declared a general emergency uh, when it was arriving to Antalya. And the reason for this is probably due to low fuel reserve. Uh, Antalya's ep, uh, airport was closed yesterday because of poor weather and uh, all flights had to divert and this flight, um, this aircraft probably didn't have a lot of fuel so they had to declare emergency and get priority landing in uh, an airport uh, nearby. Another emergency in Europe was Jet 2 flight LS-174 from Faro to Glasgow, declared an emergency when the aircraft was arriving to Glasgow. Uh, what I saw in the news was that uh, they declared an emergency due to a passenger that wasn't behaving because he was drunk. And more uh, diversions, this time in America, um, in South America. Due to a problem with radar systems, uh, Sao Paulo's Guarulhos Airport um, had some diversions th this morning. For example, United Airlines flight UA861 from Washington to Sao Paulo had to divert to Brasilia because, the, because of the problems in uh, Guarulhos Airport. Also, yeah, at the same airport, American Airlines flight AA951 from New York to Guarulhos had to divert to Rio de Janeiro because of the problems at Sao Paulo. And more, uh, a Norwegian airline 737-800 performing a flight from Reykjavik in Iceland to Madrid, Spain, was forced to divert to Birmingham due to hydraulic failure. Upon touchdown, the aircraft tires popped. Four fire trucks were there to meet the aircraft. The runway was closed after the incident and it is still shut at this time the, uh, the post was written 17 hours ago, so the airport is now um, operating normally, but at the time the airport was shut. Airlines and flights, airlines had to divert flights or delay and canceled, and an airport that received a lot of diversions was East Midland, but due to the high uh, number of diversions, they had to no longer accept diversions. 
that is all for today's video. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed it and be sure to subscribe to watch tomorrow's daily aviation. Thank you. Goodbye.